we've done three drills. Okay, and this is just taking parts of the katana and combining them in a way that allow us to practice what we want to practice. So the first drill, we were working with this idea of um, one hand is striking while the other hand is somehow redirecting this one. So we're pulling the arm out of the way, or we're moving the arm across, or we're pushing the arm down. So to put them together, your partner was punching in and you did the first move. So I parry over the top, this arm shoots in underneath, that, that's the first part of it. And then controlling or grabbing this arm as a striker with either that strike or that strike, depending on the style. I could go straight into the elbow, but we're not going to for this drill. I'll just take my arm underneath, I parry the arm up over the top, push and hit here. In the application of that bit. Again, from there, if you have decided to put the two on that one, from there, I take hold of the back of the arm, straight over the top here, being that bit. And then from there, I put my hand on the back of his head as I whip through for my elbow, being the elbow strike. So it's a short little drill. And the way we're drilling it is your partner comes in from there, went one, two, three, four, pushed away. He then came in with the same arm and he did the same thing. He over here, bang, bang, pushed away. He then came in with his other arm and he did the exact same thing from the opposite side. Bang, elbow, pushed away. Do that twice and then your partner comes at you, um, out and nick and we do that on both sides. So left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. That was our first drill, okay? Drill number two follows the order of the cutter. We have the same kind of star. We're striking in here and then we threw the elbow straight after it. What we would do is the first one hits, then your partner blocks the second one. The first way we get past this is we just hook it back. So I pull it back here, effectively go back and move in the cutter, so I can then throw the elbow. Uh, and then again, it blocks this one, and we pull back, and then we go back to the cutter again, and underhook this arm and pull through to here. At the same time, I pull his head around and in. So that's that part of the fall. So up to there. One. First elbow hits, second one gets stopped, third elbow hits, fourth one gets stopped, underhook and pull. And then grab his chin, pull round with the Gidambarai, but we're assuming it doesn't work, he manages to step around. I then hit him with the, the following punch. <laughs> Maybe more than once. Right? Bang, bang, till he drops. The cat steps across and stamps. We were saying for modern legalities, you better change that to a stamp of the thigh so you can't get up quickly. So that was our second drill. Just walk through that again, then, Nick. So it comes in with a strike from there, again, move in, elbow, okay, pull this one back, elbow, underhook, hit, pull, punch, 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 land, stamp, move away. And then you do it on, uh, on both sides as well. Now third one, we're looking at this sequence here. Partner was coming in and we were using the Marotte wash and keys and entrance. Once we've got that, again, we're carrying the arm down and uppercutting. We've then got the returning wave kick, come to the inside of the knee before we do the hammer fist. So that's just following the form. But for our drill, we were doing a few hammer fists. And when he decides to block it, I then switch sides like the cat does. So this hand jumps under. Kick here, start smashing in this direction. To finish the drill off, I take a sideways angle, so it's the same as the form again. Hit him with the elbow, and then put. So that was, uh, that was that one. Partner parries in. Again here, kick, bang, bang, bang. When he blocks it there, bang, elbow pushing off. And there were the three we've done so far. Is that okay?